angular version 20 recently got released and i'm now going to talk about the topic that you have requested a lot which is server side rendering hydration and angular and i really really love incremental hydration in angular and we're gonna get to that in a point this is gonna be a multi-part series and we are going to first start looking into what is server side rendering and basically starting with a fresh angular application enabled ssr when we talk about server side rendering it essentially means that we are generating the html the whole rendered html on the server side on demand so this is important the on demand is the keyword here which means that whenever the user goes to a particular route which is server side rendered that means that every time the user goes there it's going to go to the server the server is going to generate the html and then return back the rendered html from server now this will add some load to the server because every user requesting the same route would essentially be a whole rendering process on the server so when we go towards server side rendering usually we go on the things which are dynamic